So we have heard a lot of different perspectives about this announcement regarding Alex Rodriguez, who will play his final game on Friday, this coming Friday, against the Tampa Bay Rays. And you listen to the process, and Joe Girardi brought up a great point there, guys, the fact that it's a big family, it's a big house there, but this was taken care of in a very small house, a space between Hal Steinbrenner and Alex Rodriguez. Right, Bob, in the New York media market where things usually don't remain under wraps, but if we retrace the steps of how this happened and also this press conference, on Tuesday, Hal Steinbrenner flew to New York. He actually did a radio interview with Michael Kay that you could hear on Yes, and he said that he would not make a decision that wasn't in the best interest of the franchise because the money was brought up, and he said, I'll do what's best for the organization. The next day, he meets with Alex Rodriguez and gets this process started, and I think that conversation between the two of them was all about how do we have an ending that is graceful and dignified for both sides, and I think after that conversation, they figured out what that that ending was Alex Rodriguez playing career with the Yankees was going to end very soon but his relationship with the Yankees would continue I, I think they accomplished that Jack I think both sides can come out of this with something to gain and, and I listen to Brian Cashman and uh, you think about all the tough decisions he has made in the last couple of weeks with the trade deadline Mark Deshera is retiring I'm sure his voice of reason was Alex Rodriguez is not helping us we have to make a decision and clearly the relationship with Hal Steinbrenner and Alex Rodriguez was able to come up to today's press conference where both sides have something to look forward to with their relationship moving forward. But I took away from Alex Rodriguez and the way he was speaking. This is not a guy who walked in the clubhouse one day and said, I can't play anymore. I think he still believes he can, but this relationship with the Yankees is going to move forward. And I wonder after maybe a couple of weeks, Jack, if Alex Rodriguez says, you know what, I miss this so much. I might want to revisit it. Well, it is interesting because Brian Cashman said he will get all of the money that's left in his contract for anyone who doesn't realize when you release versus getting retired. The Yankees are releasing him, so he's getting the full $27 million. But Cashman reiterated what you just said, John, that he's free at that point to go and do whatever he wants. It might be TV. Maybe, maybe a team comes calling, although I'm not sure. But I will go back to a conversation I had with Alex Rodriguez about three weeks ago when he was in the midst of all these struggles, and he talked about the changes he was trying to make and he talked about swinging at pitches that were in the zone as opposed to pitches that were out of the zone. He talked about how his home runs per at bat were still pretty decent and if you push those across 500 or 600 at bats he'd be a guy whose home run total was in the 20s so I don't think he's ever going to stop thinking like a player. I think in this instance he was forced to stop thinking like a player. I totally agree. And when he listened to Joe Girardi talk about Alex Rodriguez, how much he loves the game and how hard he works at it, I was lucky enough to play with Alex for two years, and I saw that firsthand. And I can guarantee you that 24 hours a day for Alex Rodriguez, whether it was what he was eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner to his workouts, it was all about the three hours when he played. He was as prepared as any guy I had ever played with, as talented as anybody, but the preparation behind the scenes was off the chart. He's going to miss that. He's not going to know what to do with himself. All right.